so we do have oh, 6 or oh, 3 resistor packs and those go in here for our R45, 46, 7, 8, 9 and whatever 51 all those need to come in yeah. first things first before you do uh, place those parts um, you need uh, alcohol to clean the board of like fingerprints and stuff here like this super clean this will evaporate pretty quick in the meantime we are taking those resistor packs out of this now the thing is to take them out without losing them that's a good thing oh they're all over the place Let's hope we still have enough. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Works. Now we need a solder paste on all of the contacts here. You need very little solder paste. I do feel I have way too much here. Oh man, what a mess. My solder paste is a little old. It should be like toothpaste, a little bit sticky. This could be a high price I pay here if it's too much. But this is just a training video. And we will see what happens, right? It can only go wrong. I can tell already that this one here has the most of it. That's nuts. So, I'm going to put my pack on here. And try to get it in there. Here. You see how accurate I place them? Oops. We do have to place them straight. There. Those guys are tiny like little bugs. Come on, turn over. Turn over for me, little guy. This thing, I doubt you, has too much flux, but we will see what's going to happen. Now we use a hot air gun to solder them, and I will start here in the corner. First I wait for my um, hot air gun to have the right temperature. We are at 445 now, and then we're going to go start here on this one. Get close and hot until it turns to solder. Um, the next one, there, the next one, there, and the next one, here, yeah, come on. If we have too much, we're going to check this later. I see already, it's going to be too much here. There, this dude, I doubt, will make it. There we go, and now let's take a look at the damage. Um, I do have to turn my board around, I'm sorry. And then we want to lift this whole microscope up. That I can take a better look. And we can also go down with our microscope more. more down and then we have chunks of focusing in really good we're gonna get really close and now you witness what too much solder does for you see that there was too much flux we have shards all over the place 
see here, this is way too much flux. There it's connected. Here is the bridge. There is the bridge. This one is not soldered. Too much flux. Too much flux. Too much here. This one does not look solid, but it is. Bridge, bridge. Pain in the ass. Bridge, bridge. Here, all over. So this was a disaster because of way too much flux. So that's what too much flux does. And fixing this, good luck. Uh, not sure how we can handle it. Okay, let me zoom out of this a little again. Yeah, to get this flux out, we would need uh, this and this. You see how that worked? Gonna get it here. Wow. We have to go really for each resistor pack. Go and suck out the Flux. The chuck out the solder here, right? Let's see. We don't want to really move too much, but they're going to remove stuff. Okay. R48, I want to do one more. A little too much. And now, I'm going to put some flux over it. That's like a pain in the butt. I thought my fluxer here is uh, got too much flux out for this here. I just want a thin layer of a little bit flux here. Not too much. And then uh, I'm going to resolder. see how this worked. Oh, oh well. Let's see. Let me do this a little better and more. this off. That ugly stuff. And then we have to wash it. And then we get closer and look at this again. Oh, oh man. Oh. So we wash this with pure alcohol. 
that's the thing, how you wash it. Well, let me take another look again. one is good. This one doesn't have enough solder there and has two shots. See that? Here. So the R50 has problems as we can see that. This one is good. This one is good. We have a problem here. R47. R46 has a problem. This one is good. Okay, so I want to get out of here that I have space for my tools. R46 is here with a problem. Oh. Not any longer, as you can see. R47 has a problem here. <gasps> R47 came loose. This is good. 49, R50 has a problem. on both sides. Yep. The last one good? Yep. So the problem we have here with the R47, that thing has to be resoldered. Because it's completely loose. We'll see if it flows back. My solder is thin enough. See, my iron is not. Solder this. That's like very, very risky. See that? How risky hand soldering is? Look at this one here. But you can identify immediately hand solder ones.
think this one shouldn't have any soda on it. Alright, so now we can measure here in between those four contacts if they all have a good resistance. So you basically measure between those four points at the end with the four points on that end and they all have the same resistance. I think this was enough for me today here and I hope you enjoyed this video.